Let me start out with a question. Would Colorado be better off with two functional, competitive political parties? Would that be healthier for the state? Because the Colorado Republican Party is not competitive. And after historic blowouts on election night, a far-right faction launched an effort today to take over party leadership. They did so from the parking lot of a boot barn in Greenwood Village. Here's Steve Steger. And there was one man, his name was Shama. A call for biblical courage outside a Western Wear Outfitter. Shama stood his ground in that field of beans, just like we're standing here together in this parking lot outside of Boot Barn. This group of far-right conservatives stood as close to the state Republican Party headquarters as they were legally allowed. We have a Republican Party that is full of whores. Calling for change, shouting, really. They have not held to the Republican platform, which is conservative. They've not held to the U.S. Constitution. And then you wonder why these whites can't win a race. The Save Colorado Project's message is made up of tropes we've become accustomed to. There is fraud in our elections. I call that a cabal. We have the machines. Yeah. They have to go. This one was new. Get Christy Burton the liar out. She's against our country. She's against Republican politics, and she hates America. We were told Christy Burton Brown, the leader of the state Republican Party, wasn't available to talk to us today. She was available to talk to a conservative radio host this morning, saying she'd make a decision about her future as leader in December. Hey, we have free speech here. People can express whatever they want to. The group also calling for closed primary. And it's up to Republicans to pick Republican candidates. What the hell were we thinking to allow Democrats to pick our candidate? That's not how open primaries work. Republican and independent voters pick the GOP candidates. Nine News Republican analyst Kelly Maher says a closed primary wouldn't fix the GOP's problem. If you can't compete in an open primary, how is anybody going to expect that you can compete in an open actual general election? These people are saying that they want to take their ball and go home, and what they're not realizing is there is no ball. Now, despite Colorado voters neutering the Republican Party, this far right group is calling on its members to get involved in local races and precinct politics to take the leadership of the state party back. Elections for state party leadership coming up in March, and that should be something to watch. You know, uh, Kelly Maher brought up something to you that you and I had actually talked about earlier in the day, that there's going to be like a four year window where Colorado Republicans can't win much back anyway because stuff is not on the ballot. So maybe this is an opportune time to let that faction of the party run the show. And I mean, either they're going to win and that'll show the establishment or they'll get smoked like brisket and then everybody will know that that doesn't really work here. I mean, yeah, the kind of the thought is it's easy to stand on the other side and say, hey, the way this is, is working now isn't working for the rest of us. You guys try to run it for a little while and let's see what happens. That may either elevate that faction of the party or it may kind of push them out. Yeah. Who in the world wants to run that party so that people can stand in the boot, bar, boot barn parking lot and scream that you're a blankety blank and everything else? They encourage people after they were done to yeah. go inside, grab something for the holidays from oh. the boot barn. All right. One-stop shopping. Steve, thank you.